a very special video. Um, we are going to do the best of 2012 beauty products and also hair products. So I brought along Margaret here. Hello. She's really big on beauty and hair products as well. She's been recommending me a bunch of things. Um, she also has her own beauty list page, which I will link down in the info box for you guys so you can check out what she does. Um, so. In this video, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of products. We actually have it organized because we thought about this for a while. Yeah. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go through these products that are our favorites because we've had a whole year to try these, and for the first time, I'm able to do this kind of video, so I'm really excited. Um, hopefully, this helps you guys with products that you guys buy in 2013 or products that you thought you might have wanted to try or you don't know if it's good or not. So, we have a range of products, like everything from the drugstore to high-end stuff. Um, and also, for all these products, I will have swatches, um, more in-depth reviews on my Beautylish page, which of course will be linked down below as well. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. It's going to be a long one. So, first off, we're going to start with hair products. Um, our favorite hair products this year has got to be the Live Clean line. Um, we love these because these are uh, paraben vegan shampoos, paraben free vegan <laughs> shampoos. Oops. And um, because we have different hair types, um, I mentioned I have more damaged hair from like my heat products. Um, I use the Bally Oil for smoothing. Um, this smells like candy and also it just helps to smooth my hair, especially in the summertime when it's humid. And the ones I like to use from the Live Clean line is called Green Earth. Um, looks like this, similar bottle. Um, the smell is more refreshing, not so much candy, and I like these because they're really lightweight <laughs> and because my hair is uh, a bit more oily, I usually have to wash it every day, otherwise the next day it's going to look super greasy and gross. Um, so I like these ones a lot because it makes my hair feel super clean but doesn't feel stripped. And my favorite sh conditioner to go with my shampoo is the Neutrogena Triple Moisture Daily um, Deep Conditioner. I find this to be really moisturizing but not heavy. It doesn't weigh down your hair, um, but yet every time I use it, I feel like my hair is just rejuvenated. Um, this is a kind of pricey conditioner. It's about $10, but you can get it for a bit cheaper if you go down to Walmart in the States. Um, but I highly recommend this for anybody who has over-processed hair, overheated hair, or just dry, frizzy hair. You can really see a difference when you use the product. And on to some hair treatments. I discovered this one recently. It's called uh, Marrakesh Oil. It's a hair styling elixir, and it smells, um, how do you describe this? kind of like a nutty smell. It's weird. Yeah. It's not gross though. No. It actually it smells like macadamia oil. Yeah. And it, it kind of stays in your hair too and it smells sort of really warm and nutty. Um, and it's, it's amazing because it makes your hair really smooth, uh, especially when you're trying to blow dry or uh, straighten or anything like that. Um, the other product I like using is the Bedhead uh, by TGI, uh, or TG I guess. It's called After Party. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before on YouTube. It's raved uh, a little bit. Um, it smells like Barbie. Yeah, it's very, it's very strange scent, but it's a cream type texture, which works great for me because, uh, again, I have oily hair, so it's light enough that it doesn't weigh down my hair at all. Um, so this one's a good one. My favorite ones are the Macadamia oil, Natural Oil Treatments. I love these. Holy, holy girl product. The Repair Mask is if when you have, when your hair really needs a lift. Um, it makes your hair soft, doable, smells so good. And the Healing Oil really helps with the frizzing, with the damage, with the um, split ends and whatnot. These are two really pricey pricey, pricey um, hair treatments, amazing. <laughs> but amazing. If you have really damaged hair, I highly recommend these. After one use, you'll notice a big difference. Um, so next, we're going to move on to makeup. Um, so first, we're going to talk about safe products. So this year, um, for foundation, I decided to try a liquid foundation, and I found something that I absolutely love. It is the Revlon um, Color Stay Whipped Foundation. I'm using the color 220 in Nude. Um, this is really, really amazing. It leaves you matte, lasts all day, and also it feels like you're wearing nothing on your face. Like, I'm one to hate wearing liquid foundation because you always, always feel something on your face, mm. but this you do not. So I highly recommend this if you want to try something for fuller coverage. Um, you can even layer this on like a little bit more thickly um, if you have specific spots that you need to conceal, but yet you still don't feel it. So that's the beauty of this product. Um, the one that I like
like using is uh, the Laura Mercier Tension Moisturizer. I too am not a fan of liquid foundations. I always find that they feel like um, as if you're wearing a mask. Yeah, and I hate that feeling. Uh, what I love about this is although it's that sort of creamy, liquidy texture, um, it feels super light and because it's a tinted moisturizer, it's more of a sheer coverage. So if you don't have uh, too many problematic skin uh, disorders or anything like that, like uh, too many spots or whatever discoloration, this will work pretty well. I got this in the oil-free version, so it helps to keep my combination skill, uh, skin sorry, in check. Um, our favorite concealer is the MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer. We, I think we both wear NW15, yeah, we're both so it's one fair. of the lighter colors, but we really like this because it's lighter than our skin tone, and it gives you that Kim Kardashian highlight on the bottom of your eye, especially for your dark circles. It's quite creamy. Um, consistency and even though it's so tiny, I've had this for like two plus years and I haven't even hit pan. Um, so highly recommend this if you're looking for a concealer to conceal under eyes and also all over your face. And our favorite bronzer is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. It's a it's long time. Sunny. <laughs> And you, oh, geez, the other way. There you go. So it's a matte con uh, contour powder that we use, and it has no shimmer in it at all. Um, it gives a nice glow, like contour glow to your face. It doesn't turn you orange, which we absolutely love. Um, so my favorite blush is also a drugstore blush. It is the Elf Studio Blush. Um, I really love these. I've discovered them more this year. Um, my favorite color is in Twinkle Pink. It's, it's this pinky peach color that's got sparkle in it. I've heard that this is comparable to the Orgasm blush, but I've never tried Orgasm by NARS, so I don't know. But this is highly pigmented. It lasts all day, and it's $3, so you cannot go wrong. And speaking of Orgasm, my favorite one is the NARS Orgasm. Um, I've had this for... Oh, three years, and I still have a lot of it. it kind of looks a little gross now, but um, I think this one's great because although it's a bit more pricey, it does last you a really long time, and that combination of the peach and pink makes it really uh, flattering on every type of uh, the skin tone. So I think this one is a good buy. So my favorite highlighter, I've got to give it to the Hard Candy So Baked Bronzer, and this is in the color of Tiki. This is one of the lighter bronzing colors. Um, because I don't know why it's called a bronzer, it's way too light for my skin, but it gives you a beautiful baked kind of um, highlighting look. It gives your skin just a nice flush of like highlights where the natural where sun naturally hits your face. Um, this I believe is about eight nine dollars, so really inexpensive, and there's so much product in here, so it would take you a long time to hit pan. Um, now onto some face powders. I really liked uh, the Chanel face powder. It's uh, called Powder Crystalline. Um, and this one was, it was expensive. It was about $70 when I got it. But I've had this for quite a while. It's been at least four or five years now, and I've barely used much of it. So I think this is great. So for me, I also have a higher-end one, but not as expensive as the Chanel. Um, it is the Makeup Forever HD um, powder. I love this powder because it's super finely milled. Um, goes on your skin really nicely, gives you a matte finish, and it lasts a really long time. This powder here I've had for about like maybe three years, and I've definitely just gotten about halfway through it. So a little of these products go a really long way. Okay, next up, I don't really use primers, but you do. Yeah, my favorite primer is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primers. Um, I used to use just the regular one. It's clear and it's got that silicone base um, texture, but I find it to be too oily throughout the day. Like, it gives you a nice, beautiful canvas to begin with, but as throughout the end of the day, you're still finding yourself a little bit oily in the T-zones. Um, but, so I switched to light, and I think this is a game changer. It still has that same kind of feeling on your face. It's a little bit more liquidy in consistency, but it just leaves you really, really matte. Um, these two items together, my foundation and this primer, it works like a dream. It lasts all day, and you're just super matte. You don't even need to blot or powder your face, so that fantastic. Is awesome. <laughs> um, the subject of other primers, for our eyeshadow primers, we love to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Um, I'm sure you're all familiar with this one. And the reason why we like Eden is I find the original one to be a little bit too greasy. Yeah, and this yeah. one leaves you a little bit more matte. It's kind of like the color of our eyelids because mm -hmm. we're so fair. Yeah. But it also makes your eyeshadows pop because it's matte and it's a light shade. Um, so moving on to eye products. Um, 
My favorite eyeshadow, I've got to give it to the Wet n Wild. Um, they've really proven themselves to me, especially this year when I started using them. They're highly pigmented, very inexpensive, and large little um, containers of color. Um, they have a whole range of colors. You can get these in matte, shimmery, um, metallic, so on and so forth. And these shadows, these little trios, are only about $5 at the drugstore. So I highly recommend these if you want to play with eyeshadows but you don't want to invest in anything um, super expensive because they're just as good as high-end like Urban Decay shadows. Um, on the subject of shadows, why don't we just talk about the palette? Yeah, so our favorite palette of this year, we've got to give it to the Naked Palette. It is the best palette of this year. Um, it just has 14 really neutral shades. Um, they're all mostly shimmery. There's two matte shades in the palette, but it just works. This is great for traveling. It's super slim, and you can just take this with you on the road. Um, you know, you can use this for, like, just if you're traveling for a day, a mm -hmm. week, a month. Um, this is all you really need. Um, it, it'll take you from day to night just to smoke everything out. Um, even though this palette for us is a bit darker, but I feel like with a lighter hand, you can definitely play with the colors. The mm -hmm. best thing about this, I find, is that I use it every single day. Even if I use other shadows, I'll still gravitate towards this one for, like, a brown or, like, a nude or yeah, something. They're just, they're just, they it's work so, so well. good. Yeah. Um, the thing is, this is quite expensive. It's about $60 now for the palette. Um, I know we both got it probably for cheaper. But um, now if you're looking into investing in one or if you're getting your second one, it's a bit more expensive, but I still think it's completely worth the buy. Yep. <clears throat> okay, and now the eyeliners. Uh, although it's kind of rubbed off, but this is the Stila uh, Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner, and it comes in a felt tip sort of applicator. I don't know if you see that. Um, and I like this because it's so thin that you can draw very precise lines, or you can draw much thicker lines for a more dramatic look, and it lasts all day. It doesn't smudge at all, so it is and actually pretty decently priced. I got this at Sephora for about $18, um, so it's great. My favorite eyeliners, I've got two of them here. So my favorite pencil liner has got to be the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes. I just really like this because it's quite dark um, and it's smudge proof, which is fantastic. I use this for tight lining. Um, gives a really nice, dark, smoky look. Um, my favorite one for more precise work is the NYC Liquid Liner. I've mentioned this before many times. Um, it's super cheap. This is $3.99 at the drugstore, and it's got a really nice thin brush for more precise um, lines. It's dark, and it does not smudge at all unless if you touch it with water. Um, next is we're going to talk about eyebrows. So eyebrow kit that I absolutely love is an inexpensive one as well. It's the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in Dark. Um, it comes with wax and powder and a little tiny brush like this. I really love this because the wax lasts a really long time and the little brush is completely useful. So even though it looks tiny and useless, it's the one that I actually use to put on the wax. Uh, my favorite brow product is the Urban Decay Brow Box, and I have the color in brown sugar, and I think why I love this box is it has everything. It's got the wax there on the bottom in a little tray, and when you open it up, mine's kind of got a little bit smashed, but it comes with tweezers and also a brush. Unfortunately, this brush is kind of useless, so you'll, you will need to use your own uh, brow brush, but I think the colors work great, and uh, you have the, both the light and dark, so you can mix and match for a more dramatic look or a more sort of lighter, subtle look, and I, I think it's a, it's a good all around. So next we're going to talk about mascaras. My favorite one is, I decided to go with the drugstore one. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Millionaire, Million Lash, uh, Lash Mascara. Um, I love this because it is a carbon black um, color and when you just put on one coat you'll see a dramatic difference. It actually, because it's so dark, it gives you the volume that I need. Um, even though this is a water formula, um, when you have this for longer, it gets better, so don't be discouraged if you buy this and the first time you try it, you absolutely hate it because it makes your lashes droop or whatever. Um, give it a couple of weeks and try it again. It'll make a world of a difference. And this is only about 7 to $10 at the drugstore. Uh, my favorite is a little bit more pricier. It's still about, uh, I believe, $18 at Sephora. Um, it's the Ico Skinny Brush Mascara, and I love this one because although it doesn't say it's waterproof, it does withstand water very well. Um, I've been through heavy rain with this, um, and it's never smudged or anything like that. And the brush is very skinny, and I think it can really get in to get those small little lashes that sometimes it's a little harder to reach. Okay, so next we're going to move on to lip products. So she doesn't use lipstick, but I love lipstick. So I have three for you guys. Um, I've categorized them, so we were super organized. Um, my first one is a nude. Um, I started with 
a drugstore nude. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. This is in the color 668 Primrose. Love this nude. Nudes are kind of hard to find in the drugstore, especially when you can't put this on or you can't even swatch it at times. Um, but this is a really pretty pinky nude. Really great for everyday wear. I love this lipstick. It's very comparable to a MAC lipstick in the consistency. It's really smooth, moisturizing. You do need to reapply it as throughout the day, but these are $7 versus MAC lipsticks, which are like 15 plus. So really, it's a bang for your buck. Um, my next one is my favorite pink, and I have to give it to the ELF Conditioning Lip Balm with the SPF 15 in it. They come in these giant pods like this, but this is in the color Peaceful Pink. Really pretty, um, just, just pink color. Um, these are quite creamy as well, but the only downside of this product that I have to say is that it comes in this huge pack. Packaging, super bulky, not really travel friendly, nor can you put in your purse. And you also need a lip brush with this because it's kind of gross to stick your finger in there because this is really pigmented. Mm. Um, and these do actually last quite a while. It's got a lip pumping agent in it, so you can kind of feel a tingle, but it's nothing like burning where you know you're crying and you have to take it off. <laughs> Um, so the last one I picked was a red. My favorite red is one that I just discovered recently, and it is the um, CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lip Gloss. Lip I never know what these are called because they don't have labels on them. Um, I picked it up in the color 325 Spellbound. Beautiful kind of magenta raspberry red color. Highly, highly pigmented and this stains your lips all day long. You basically don't even need to reply, reapply this after anything. Um, you might need to just put on a little bit of gloss to give it more of like a kick in it because it loses its gloss, goes to like a matte lipstick. But this is a highly recommended formula, and I highly recommend this if you're using red because, you know, everybody hates retouching their red lipstick because it's really obvious, so might as well go with the stain so it just lasts all day. And for lip balms, ones that I do use, um, I like to use the original by Carmex. Oh, <laughs> I actually don't mind it too much. Uh, this helped my uh, save my life. When I used the Burt's Bees, it really ruined my lips. I got uh, cracked, it was peeling, and it was super painful, and this helped so much to heal my lips, so I love this one. My favorite is the Nivea Pure Naturals Milk and Honey Lip Balm. Um, I love these more than pro, um, petroleum jelly because it slips and slides. These ones are more waxy, they last longer, and they keep your lips really nice and smooth. Um, so the next thing to talk about is lip pencils. Um, my favorite lip pencil is got to be the MAC Naked Liner. I'm looking for something really, really nude to give me kind of like almost a dead look or just to like make my nudes even more nude um, when you're wearing a more dramatic look. Um, I find that this is the only pencil that I've ever found that's actually like a neuter. A lot of mm -hmm. nudes are like way too brown or way too red. Um, this one here I think was about $17 or $20. Kind of pricey, but I find this is a good investment because I realize sometimes when you buy lipsticks that just don't work for you, um, it's hard to wear, but sometimes when you nude out your lips and put that color over top of it, it works a lot better. So it kind of saves your lipsticks when you buy bad colors, which you shouldn't in the first place, but yeah, it, happens. it happens. It does. Um, next up is lip glosses, and my favorite is the Philosophy Vanilla Birthday Cake, and this one smells amazing. But yeah. it's way too sticky for me. <laughs> I just like the stickiness because then it just lasts longer in my opinion, so I don't mind it too much. Um, I broke mine down again, obviously, because I'm such a lip junkie. Um, my favorite lip gloss in a nude color is the Benefit Lip Gloss. This is Life, in, life on the A-List. Um, really pretty kind of peachy nude color. If Orgasm was stored in like a lip gloss, kind of this color here, I would imagine. Um, even though it is, I think NARS has an Orgasm lip gloss. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, this is a beautiful gloss with a tint of shimmer in it. it. Smells like candy peaches. Oh my gosh. So lovely. It's kind of expensive. It's about 20 plus dollars at Sephora, but it's an investment or it's splurger, um, like a little treat for yourself. Definitely something to look into. So cheaper alternative for lip gloss, my favorite, favorite formula is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Glosses. Really sleek packaging, not too sticky, um, really pigmented for a lot of the dark colors. This is my favorite one in Pink Pop, really beautiful magenta color, um, high shine gloss as well. This does come off so you need to reapply, but I think this is only about like seven dollars, so really oh, inexpensive. Yes. Um, my favorite lip stain this year, I've got to give it to the Revlon Just Bitten um, Jumbo Pencil ones. Um, this, I think, is in the color Cherish. I've rubbed it off because I've used it so much. <laughs> but this is a 
really great lip stain. It lasts all day and it smells like mint, but it doesn't go on super minty, like a tingling feeling. Um, love the look of this, love the formulation. I highly recommend that for, I think, maybe like $8 for the stain. And that's good. Uh, next up, we have nail polishes. I don't really wear too many nail polishes uh, all that often, but when I do, um, especially for the summer, I like using the Revlon. Um, nail polishes. I believe these are pretty available in drugstores. Yeah. And this one is called Sweet Tarts, the 185. It's such a pretty color. It goes great on your uh, toes or on your nails. Um, again, because it's such a bright, fun color, it's great for summer. Um, and also throughout the year, I find. So, I, I love this one a lot. So, obviously, I'm the nail junkie here. Um, I've my favorite, favorite, favorite base of all times and for nail care and strengthening and growing has got to be the OPI Nail Envy. I recommended this so much to a lot of people when you have weak nails or brittle nails or nails that chip a lot. This product really helps. Even if you wear this alone, it just helps to strengthen and grow your nails. Um, this is quite pricey. I think it's about $11 or more, but it's highly, highly worth um, the investment. So if you guys are in need for nail care, definitely make that your resolution to get better nails and get Nail Envy. Um, so our favorite top coat of all time got to be Chazit. Um, it smells like crazy. Burning plastic. <laughs> and it might sort of not be highly recommended to people because it's a controversial issue, but we love this because it dries super duper fast. Sometimes when you're doing manicures, it's just so time consuming. Who really has time to wait for nails to dry, right? Mm. It's like watching paint dry. It's not really fun. <laughs> um, this thing dries your nails in about five minutes to the max. Like you can sleep on it, you can scratch your nails, and they're just perfect. So highly recommend this, even though, again, that's something pricey, but it's worth the investment. My favorite overall nail polish brand is OPI. I just feel like the brush and the formulation itself is just fantastic. I know this is pricey, and I wish I could recommend you guys some drugstore brand, but I really can't. There's no comparison. Um, my favorite nude from OPI is this color called Isn't It Precious? isn't that precious. This really pretty nudie pink color. It's quite sheer, but you need maybe like a two coat kind of situation to make it the color that it is, or wear like a white underneath to show up the color. Um, something comparable to that is um, definitely China Glaze. It's a cheaper version alternative to it. Same kind of brush, same kind of formula, um, and it, it's a little bit more accessible as well. You know, you can get these at Sally's down in the States um, for a lot cheaper. My favorite, favorite red of all times has got to be Seduce Me from China Glaze. Perfect dark red for the winter holiday season, um, and it just looks really, really pretty on your fingers. Elong elongates your nail. It just looks really nice. Um, my drugstore alternative, i got to give it to NYX. It's kind of like... Um, a wild card kind of polish because these are both $3 at the drugstore. I love this color just black um, because I use this a lot for nail art. Even though I'm constantly like opening the bottle just to get little drops out of it, I've had this for a while and it hasn't dried up to be mucky. So I really love that. Um, so good investment. And I know NYX has like so much color that you can try. So great thing. Um, my favorite tool to use for my nails this year has got to be dotting tools. They are a life changer. When you're trying to do nails and you don't have a steady hand, these will change your life. Um, I got the set of five on eBay. You guys can definitely eBay that. These are 99 cents and they're free shipping, so you cannot go wrong with that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please stay tuned for our next one. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel, of course. Um, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.